these are the cables that came with the with the Fino originally. Kind of crusty and a little bit cheap in my opinion. I, I don't really like. Uh, you see the plastic molding. You can you can see it on there. And, and these are the cables that that I made, but not like these. I'm not sure why they picked that. That's I wasn't too happy when I saw them. But if you go to the Kilpatrick website, you'll notice that the patch cables that they have there are much higher quality and they look a little bit more like a little bit more like this. And um, so this is what I, I was able to make by ordering these connectors separately from eBay. And then uh, for the wire part, this is a, a 14 gauge wire. And the wire, you can just get it, um, you can buy it separately, but usually they sell them by the roll. So what I did is I went to Walmart and I bought this cheap extension cord. Just make sure that it says 14 gauge on it. But as you can see, I, I chopped off the ends here. And if you look inside, there's three, three 14 gauge wires. And they are different colors, which is great because you want different colors when you're making these patch cables so that you're able to follow the, the signal flow on your synthesizer. What you do is you just cut the cable. You want to make it a little bit long so that you can use it from any point on the synthesizer. It, and then there's a little screw in there. So you put a screwdriver in there and you tighten it. So then it becomes pretty stable and tight. And these actually look a lot better than the ones that come with the synthesizer. So 